The UPNG Council made it clear to the media this afternoon that it does not condemn the actions of the police. The UPNG Council said the situation which transpired yesterday was because students went out of the university area and police acted within the law. Speculation. I'm sure police um, would be able to answer uh, why they did or, or what they, they'd be able to explain why they did what they did. I'm sure they're able to explain that. Now, at the end of the whole thing, there will be, there will be uh, I guess, investigations. MTV asked if the council would condemn the action of the police, but the council was adamant that police action was for the RPNG to explain and not for the council to condemn. They, they can explain. And whatever we did, we did it to the best interest of the students. That's, that's what I can say. You know, I, I mean, I know where you're coming from. You want to, you want to say, oh, university condemning the police. No. Whatever they did, whether good or bad, it's up to police to explain. Adelaide Sirox, Curry National, MTV News. The United Nations General Secretary Ban Ki-moon has joined in condemning the shooting of student protesters by police yesterday. In a statement released today, Moon's spokesperson said the UN Secretary General calls for calm and the right for peaceful protest and assembly. Moon's statement is part of a number of calls by organizations in the country and abroad who are condemning the use of live ammunition against unarmed student protesters. Transparency International Chairman Lawrence Stevens said TIPNG sees this illegal use of firearms by the police as a downward spiral in PNG society into a police state. The behaviour of the police from the reports we have so far are just shocking. It is not in any way conceivable that we should be sending heavily armed policemen into a situation like that. From the international community, apart from the United Nations, the Human Rights Watch not only condemned the shooting but also the way the Prime Minister responded to the issue in his official statement. Phil Robertson, Deputy Asia Director of HRW, said in their statement that there needs to be an independent and transparent investigation into the firing of live ammunition by the police into crowds of student protesters. The Human Rights Watch reminded PNG of its obligation to the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights, where PNG has an international legal obligation to respect the rights to life, bodily integrity and security as well as the right to protest and investigate all potential violations. What they also found unacceptable was what they say was the focus of the Prime Minister's official statement yesterday following the incident. Robertson said the Prime Minister's announcement focused unduly on the student protest and failed to recognize the need for an investigation into the use of force and firearms by police. A one-sided government investigation to hunt for alleged instigators among the students is simply unacceptable.